Okay, <clears throat> we want to find all real and complex numbers, zeros, and write that polynomial in factor form given p of x is 3x to the fourth minus 29x cubed plus 101x squared minus 119x minus 52. Pretty nasty. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the graphing calculator and I'm going to plug that equation in. So I have 3x to the fourth minus 29x cubed plus 101x squared minus 119x. Minus 52. Now, thinking of the rational zero test, there's a lot of factors of 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 26, 52. A lot of factors of 3, 1, 2, and 3. So to list all of them would take a very long time. I want to find one or two of the zeros if I can. Let me go to Zoom standard first and see if any of the zeros show up here. Do I see any places where it crisscrosses the x-axis? Got one, two places. So it looks like this one is one, two, three, four. So maybe I shouldn't adjust the uh, x values very much, but in fact, I'm gonna maybe just go negative three to five, but let me get a whole bunch of y values. So negative three to five looks like that's probably good enough on the x's. The y's, I need a whole bunch. I don't know. We can try 100 to 100, but I'm thinking that's not even going to be enough. Or maybe we get at least a little better idea what this thing looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it looks like I have a zero here and a zero there. This one sure looks like four, but I'm gonna let the calculator help me. Second calc, zero finder. Move the man in the spaceship a little bit to the left of where it crosses. Enter a little bit to the right of where it crosses. Enter close to where it crosses, enter. Negative a third, right? Negative 0.333. It looks like x equals negative a third is a zero. I'll test it with synthetic division. And the other one, second calc, zero. Again, move the man in the spaceship a little bit to the left of where it crosses. We sure hope it's going to be four. We'll let the calculator do its thing. Enter a little bit to the right of where it crosses. And about where it crosses. And indeed, the other one is four. So from the calculator, rather than doing a whole bunch of synthetic division, I was able to find two of the zeros. But let's see if I'm right. I'm going to do synthetic division to see if the remainder really is zero. So 3x to the fourth, negative 29, 101, negative 119, negative 52. Pull the three down. Negative a third of three is negative one. Negative 29 and negative one is negative 30. Negative times negative, positive. A third of 30 is 10. 101 and 10 is 121. Negative a third times 121 is what? One eleven. That's a mistake. 101 and 10 is 111. Negative a third times 111 is negative 37. So 
So negative 119 plus negative 37 is negative 156. And then I get negative a third times negative 156, which gives me 52. Yay, that is a zero. So negative one third indeed is a zero. Now I'm gonna check four as well. So now I have three, negative 30, 111, negative 156. Three, negative 30, 111, negative 156. This now becomes three X cubed minus 30 X squared plus 111 X minus 156. I believe four is a zero of this based on the work I did with the graphing calculator. Pull the three down, four times three is 12. Negative 30 and 12 is negative 18. Four times negative 18 is negative 72. 111 minus 72 is 39. And four times 39 is 156. And that's zero. So indeed, negative one third and four are zeros. What is left is three negative 18, 39, which is three X squared minus 18 X plus 39 is zero. To solve this, I'll divide everything by three to make it cleaner. And I get X squared minus six X plus 13 is zero. And this I need to solve. Maybe I'll go ahead and solve it by completing the square. X squared minus 16 equals negative 13. Half of six is three. Three squared is nine. Add nine here. Add nine there. X squared minus six X plus nine. X squared nine minus six X. X X minus three minus three minus three X minus three X, I get X minus three squared equals negative four. Take the square root of both sides. So then I get the square root of X minus three squared is plus or minus the square root of negative four. So X minus three is plus or minus two I. So X is three plus or minus two I. So my zeros are, we had one third and four, three plus two i, three minus two i, which shows up as our zeros. Now I also asked you to write that in factored form. So how do we do that? What do we have if we're gonna write this in factored form? Well, x equals a third, so x minus a third equals zero. X equals four, so x minus four equals zero. X equals three plus two i. So x minus three plus two i is zero. And x equals three minus two i. Oops, so x minus three minus two i is zero. So again, x minus a third is zero, x minus four is zero, x minus three minus two i is zero, x, that's an x, not a three, x minus three plus two i is zero. So in factored form, p of x is x minus a third, times x minus four, times x minus three minus two i, times x minus three plus two i.